Coucou et puis salam manos, marhaba habibete. Can we tell that I am back home? Haha! <laughs> it is very late at night and I thought what better way to film a video where I'm back at home than A with a haul and B that's a late night upload because like those are just some of my craziest, wackiest, funnest videos. So um, I have a desk full of stuff uh, that I need to haul and I'm going to try to split it into three videos I think that'll go up this week. Um, and yeah, I haven't filmed in nine weeks. <laughs> um, my summer was traveling. There will be a Lebanon vlog that will go up soonish. Um, so that will go up. I have a new setup, like I've got new lights, which I hope are, are doing well. I keep looking at my screen because I am not used to all this, so I hope it's doing well. Um, they're very bright. <laughs> um, and I actually have a desk with like Alex drawers. It's very exciting. Um, so I may end up filming like a setup video. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. But I have a lot to haul. So I'm going to start. I think I'll do Sephora today and then I'll do Cult Beauty and then I'll do Miscellaneous. Um, there's also a giant box of stuff, probably as much as I have here, uh, that's at Noelle's house. I will link Noelle's channel down below. Uh, but I don't have that stuff yet. So I was like, let's space out the haulage. Um, I'm just going to dive right in. There will be reviews on everything coming up, but let me know if there's something you're more interested in than something else. Philip's in our teeth. Hey, no? Okay, we're good. Uh, I also have a lot of blush going on. Um, I hope it's not translating crazy on camera, but we're just going to roll with it. Let's start with Sephora, because that's always the most fun. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to start grabbing. There's no particular order. Cool, you guys let me know what you want me to review first, and we will go from there. Uh, so the first thing I picked up is one of these um, Marc Jacob Eyeliners. It's a number, what is it, number? Perido, I think, number... 90. Uh, it's a really, really pretty, like, jade kind of color. Um, it's that color right there. So I'm not going to swatch everything just because we will be here forever, but it's kind of like that. Can you see? Probably not. It's kind of like a really light greenish color. Um, I had, I swatched this when I first got my hands on the box um, of Sephora stuff, and it lasted all day long. I'd wash my hands even through the next morning. I still had some of this on, so uh, his eyeliners are awesome, and I can't wait to play with this one. Uh, the next thing I got this is the Tata Harper Resurfacing Mask. I had a sample of this. I talked to you guys about it in one of my empties, I want to say, um, so I had to pick up the full size. I was actually surprised by how little it was, um, considering how expensive Tata Harper is, but I love this guy. Um, I have a review, I doubt I have a review on it because that the, the pack I got only got me to use it, like I only had a chance to use it twice, so I'll probably film a review on it for you guys, but I really love this guy. It feels almost like a glycolic peel, um, but you could do it at home, so it's awesome. Um, the next little bundle I picked up, I don't think they have this anymore, it's the Amorovs, Amorovzika, that's probably not the right way to pronounce it, uh, Budapest. They had this as a set. Um, I don't think the set is available anymore, but you can still get the original product. So it has the thermal cleansing balm and then the deep cleansing mask. So it has, they're slightly smaller than the full size, but I think together the set was 200 and usually the full size of one is like 125, 150. So, um, no, that's a lie. It's like 180 for a full size of one. And so 200, you get these ones that were slightly smaller than full size. So um, I ordered this stuff back in April when they had the 15% off sale, but I shipped it here to Canada so I wouldn't pay shipping and stuff. Um, but I will be trying this out and reviewing it for you guys and letting you know what I think. Um, but I also think this little box is kind of adorable. Okay, next there's a bunch of skincare here. I picked up the Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. I have loved uh, the Sunday Rally products that I've had. Uh, Artemis oil, absolutely one of my hands down favorites. I don't actually think I filmed, I don't know why, but I don't think I actually filmed a review on it, so I will. It's probably going to be a rave, not a review. Um, but I've heard good things about this serum, so we're going to give that a try. I also recently discovered Ebates, you guys. Mm -hmm. I got a bunch of money back through Ebates, and it becomes like a game, because you're like, oh, Ebates is at 8% back, what do I want off my Sephora wish list? I will link my Ebates link down below. If you click and like sign up through me, then I get extra points or something, but if you don't want to do that, you can just go to ebates.com or ebates.ca if you're in Canada, and you get free money. Free money for shopping online. You just click through their link. It's it's fan-freaking-tastic. Just letting you know. I'm obsessed over here currently. 
Uh, the next thing I picked up is the Luna oil, so it's the Sleeping Night oil, oil from Sunday Riley. Um, so Noel, whose channel is down below, does not like Artemis very much, uh, but she loves Luna, and everyone I've heard loves Luna. So I'm excited to give this a try. It's supposed to be like an actually blue, blue oil, um, but a really nice nighttime treatment. So I can't wait to try that out. What else do we have skincare? I'm like trying now to go thematically, which may or not be a good idea. Um, I got these Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peels. Um, so I recently bought the P.O. Oh, that white is going to throw off our balance. Okay. Um, I recently bought the P50 or reviewed the P50 for you guys. You guys, I have drawers and I can like pull it open and like be like, oh, look how neatly organized everything is. It's really exciting. Um, I love this guy. I'll link, link my review of it down below. Noelle also has a review that I can find and link down below because um, I'm more oily and she's more dry and we both love it. Um, but these, uh, the Dennis Gross pads, which I'm just going to hold right here so we don't throw our color off again. Are supposed to be also really good. Caroline Hines raves about them. So um, I'm going to give those a try and let you guys know. What else do we have here? The Kate Somerville 5% Benzol Peroxide anti back Acne Clearing Lotion. I, you could probably tell that there's a situation happening here. My skin has not been happy with me all summer long. And um, this is supposed to be lovely. Uh, I went to a dermatologist and she prescribed uh, a Benzol Peroxide like prescription grade. Uh, product and my skin did not it was way too strong for me so this one is a step down and I've loved everything I've tried from Kate Somerville so I will keep you guys posted if any of you guys have tried this out and have thoughts on it please let us know um, but uh, I'm excited to try this out I'm very excited and very all over the place and it's like Whoa, slow it down <laughs> um, the next thing I picked up these came in a bundle for $19 um, and they're both smaller than the full size, but it was a good deal. And I love this one, and I've heard good things about this one. So it's the Ola Henriksen uh, Pure Truth Melting Cleanser, the 3-in-1. I have a review on this that I can link down below. Um, but I really, really love this guy, and so I was glad to pick it up at a discount. And then this one is the Ola Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. And this is supposed to be lovely for uh, acne scarring. And because my skin has been breaking out like nobody's business, it's been scarring. Even though I don't pick at them, I don't. it, it scars. So I'm excited to give this a try, and I will keep you posted on how it works. We're blazing through. <laughs> um, the next giant thing I see in front of me is this giant Cinema Secrets uh, makeup brush cleanser. I have wanted to try this forever, but I've never found it easily or found it accessible. So now that they're carrying it at Sephora, I obviously have to buy the giant bottle that is as big as my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even though I've had those moments where I'm like, you guys, I feel like my head is too small for my body. I feel like in a recent video I told you I have days like that. Mm -hmm. My head is still not tiny, and so this is a giant bottle. Uh, it's 32 fluid ounces, but I've heard great things about it. It's supposed to smell great and work great. And like I said, with all the other products, I will keep you guys posted on how it goes. Um, let's talk about some fragrance. I got two different fragrances. So the first is the Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. Um, I've had samples of this before, and I really, really liked it, but I held off on buying it. A lot of the stuff, like I said, I bought back in April when they were having the 15% off, and this was one of them. I love, love, love the smell of this. You guys know, oh my god, there will be a scent story time. Um, I do not believe I have one. I don't. If I do, then I'll link it down below, but I think I'll have to film one. It's just such a beautiful scent, and now that I'm like looking at it, it's like, why did you buy the small bottle? You should have bought the big bottle, because this is only uh, one fluid ounce, and it seems really tiny. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Good stuff, I tell you. Uh, the next fragrance that I got, I got two fragrances because that was the kind of mood I was in, uh, is the Elizabeth and James Black Nirvana. I've had 100 point uh, like uh, deluxe samples. I've had um, like the, 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 the slightly, you know, the smallest size that you can buy, like the little travel size. Um, and I've loved it so much that I've had to buy the full size. And I love the bottle on this guy. Um, there will also be Zen story time on this one. It just, I'm a huge fan of like musky, earthy kind of perfumes. And so, yeah, this one came home with me. Okay, what else we got? Um, I picked up a giant size of the Hourglass uh, Veil, the Primer Veil. Um, when I saw this online, it was like, jumbo, extra giant size. And like, it's not really that big. Uh, Weight-wise, though, it's two fluid ounces, so it's much larger than the usual ones. 
I really, really love this. Um, I do. I've heard that NYX Angel Veil is very similar. Target closed. Not that it's, I'm justifying Target closing in Canada. It's not like I can't find ways to get it. Um, but I really like this guy, and so I was glad to have the larger size. And I think this was picked up at the sale. So all good things. Um, Kat Von D, the Locket. Lock and Load Makeup Setting Mist. I've gone through one of these. It's my favorite. It really, really locks my makeup into place for all day wear. Oh. And I think the bottle is super cute. I do wish, though, that it was transparent so you could see actually how much was left in it. But it is really, really gorgeous. Um, all of her packaging is incredibly gorgeous. So, uh, yes. All that stuff. Speaking of Kat Von D, I also picked up the Inner Stellar Palette. Um, you guys, I picked up and returned the Shade and Light palette. Not for any other reason. I never used it. I, like, sat there and stared at it. And I wasn't excited by it. Everyone keeps, to, even when I was returning to the girls' course, like, you didn't like it? I was like, no, no, it's not that I didn't like it. I just, I look at it and I'm not excited. I didn't want to play with it and then return it and not, for them not to be able to resell it. Um, there's stuff that I, that I, you know, I think it's going to work. I bring it home, I play with it, and it doesn't work, and I have to take it back. But this was one of those things where um, I bought it, and I looked at it, I wasn't super excited by it, and so I thought, it's not fair to, to play with it. I just, I know that it's beautiful, I know some people like it, but I'm just, do you guys get that when you look at a palette, and you're like, I'm just not wowed by it, I'm not going to reach for it? When you have a drawer full of palettes, you want to be excited by something. This one makes me super excited. Um, this color in particular, this one right here, oh my gosh. Uh, there will be a Get Ready With Me, you guys know it, coming up. Oh, do you see all the stuff on my desk? Um, but yeah, I, I'm really, really excited for this palette. Um, I don't have many cool tone palettes, so this one will be fun to play with. And look out for the Get Ready With Me. Get Ready With Me, it's like if there's more than one video. Uh, champagne Pop, you guys know this had to happen. Um, no, this is not Champagne Pop, I'm joking. That's in the Noel box. <laughs> this is the Shimmering Skin, Skin Perfector and Blushed Copper. This kind of color is my absolute favorite. First of all, the packaging, stunning. I think this is still available. I know it's limited edition, but I think it's still available on the website. Uh, this for our website. And then this is the color. These kinds of colors are completely my jam, and so I'm so excited that I was able to pick it up. Um, and I can't wait to put it all over my face. All over my face. Um, two other Becca products. I have been on a hunt to track down all the blushes. I own two. Now I own all of them. Uh, Damselfly was the last one that I was waiting on and Noelle finally tracked it down for me. I think they're actually discontinuing some of their colors to bring out new colors. Uh, so if you guys have had an eye on a color and you find it in your local Sephora or online, grab it before it's gone because I think they're going to start pulling some of them. So this first one is in Gypsy, which is a really, really pretty, like, bluish baby pink. Um, so it's that one right there. What I love about these guys is their formula is just beautiful. They're pigmented and blendable, and they work on so many different skin tones, and um, I'm just really excited, if you can't tell. Uh, this one is in Songbird. I The other two that I own uh, are oh, Sweet Pea and Wild Honey. And this one is the one that's the closest to those. Um, but like with all of us, we're more like, it, they're the same, but they're not. Um, so it's kind of like a yellowish orange tone. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Once I have them all, uh, so Noelle's got a bunch in that box that I'm gonna get my hands on soon. Um, once I have them all, all um, I will like share like the whole collection of you guys, if that makes sense. Uh, the last two things that I have to share is this uh, Benefit Cream Eyeshadow, which can we talk about the Benefit packaging? Always gorgeous. Uh, I think this one is in My Two Cents, which the name, also awesome. It's a really, really beautiful, kind of like penny color, um, thus the My Two Cents color. Like here in Canada, though, we don't have any pennies anymore, which is kind of sad. Um, but gorgeous, gorgeous color. I cannot wait. I love these as bases. They're really, really beautiful. Um, and then the absolute last thing that I have which I may end up going out and buying a backup of, is this Bite uh, Agave Lip Mask in Maple. So they did a limited edition Canadian version of this in Maple. Um, I didn't love, love, love the original formula. This taste wasn't great, but this is like maple syrup. It's amazing. This is the only thing out of all of this stuff that I like cracked into because my lips were dying as soon as I got home. Um, and I love the way it works on my lips, and I also love the smell of it, and it's just 
amazing. So I may have to go get a backup of this guy, even though it's kind of expensive for a lip mask. But yeah, that was it. Did you guys enjoy that with me kicking the box that all this stuff came in? Uh, did you guys enjoy me talking super fast and really excited and all that kind of fun stuff? I hope you did, because I did. Um, I think that's all that I have to tell you guys. Um, I'm going to do some points of positivity. And I think that's it. I'm excited to be home. I'm excited to be back with you guys. Um, and yeah, let's do some points of positivity. My first is definitely getting to be back to filming as I fling myself in the face, which always makes me happy. My second is being back home in my room and my bed and my space. It's all good stuff. And then my third is I like rock the super bold brows today and it's making me feel kind of awesome. So yeah, that's what's making me smile today. As always, please let me know what's making you guys smile. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for being here and being part of the happiness. Uh, I want to send you guys ever so much love and positive energy. And thank you for being here. And I will talk to you guys soon. But I can never, I almost forgot. I can never leave you without reminding you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.